What's up, Guam? I'm Dave Delgado here at the GFA National Training Center for the Mattel vs. Oman game going on as we speak. I'm here with future stars of the GFA. Now I'm here with Bo. Bo, tell us why the Mattel is going to win today's game. Because they got a lot of skills and they've been working hard and they got good players. All right, Clayton, in order for the Mattel to be successful, what are some of the keys to victory for them to pull off this win here at home? Uh, being able to transition from offense to defense real quick, also when you have the opportunity to counterattack, and also the possession game should be good. All right, I caught up with team captain Jason Cunliffe and defender AJ De La Garza and asked him about today's matchup. Big match for us, um, Oman and and, uh, and we are tied atop the standings, uh, six points each, so winner takes all, so, uh, so to speak. We are definitely up for the match. Quick turnaround from our loss against Iran, but we learned a lot from it. Oman's uh, ranked 100 in the world right now. Very technical team. Uh, they play a quick style, like to play on the floor. Um, expecting them to play a 4-4-2. So, you know, we're prepared. It's a good matchup for us. Uh, we think it's going to be a really good game. Uh, I think regardless of our last game in, in Iran, uh, I think we still have a confident bunch and uh, a team that is still, you know, top of the group as of right now. And, and the home games are the most important games and the must-win games. And... Obviously, Oman is a, a good team and um, a great opponent, um, but Iran was a top-class team, and, and, and I think the boys will be up for this, especially at home. All right, and if you want to keep track of everything going on here at the GFA National Training Center between Matau and Oman, all you have to do is follow us on KUAM's social media. Yeah.